Hello and welcome to Royal Vibes. Queen Cancer Revelation approved by Royals to avoid Harry Book bombshell according to new claims. The Queen secretly fought a particularly painful form of cancer in the last year of her life, a new book has claimed. So guys, before we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Gilles Brandret, a royal author and friend of Prince Philip, has claimed the late Queen Elizabeth II had a form of bone marrow cancer, the most common symptom of which is bone pain. The biographer made the statements about Her Majesty's health struggles in his upcoming book known as Elizabeth, an Intimate Portrait. In a serialization in the Daily Mail, he wrote, I had heard that the Queen had a form of, you know, myeloma, bone marrow cancer which would explain her tiredness and weight loss and those mobility issues we were often told about during the last year or so of her life. The most common symptom of um, myeloma is bone pain especially in the pelvis and lower back and multitude and multiple myeloma is a disease that often affects the elderly. Currently, there is no known cure but treatment including medicines to help regulate the immune system and drugs that help prevent the weakening of the bones can reduce the severity of its symptoms and extend the patient's survival by months or two to three years. Mr. Brandred also details the relationship between the Queen and Prince Harry, claiming the monarch was supportive of her grandson's marriage to Meghan Markle. However, a royal commentator has since suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not told of the Queen's struggle with cancer. King Tiscofield, founder and creator of the 34 Daily Podcast, you know, theorized the Sussexes were not trusted with the information. In the latest episode of the podcast, which came in the form of a top TV segment with President Christophophas, Miss Cofield referenced a very interesting theory. She said, Somebody messaged me today suggesting that perhaps, because I don't know about you, but I've heard this rumor about bone marrow cancer for a very long time now. Jules got permission from the family to include this in this book to ensure that it wasn't breaking news if Harry included its spare in his spare book, which I think is very intelligent. I think that that very much could be in because we have heard the whispers and perhaps the family wanted to control how that information was released. The Duke and Duchess of the Duke of Sussex's book is set to for publication in January 10 next year. Known as Pear, which is already a number one bestseller book, will, will cover Harry's personal journey from trauma to healing. While the content remains under wraps, the memoir is suspected to delve into Prince's childhood, his time in the military and serving in Afghanistan and his life as a husband and father. Many have speculated that Harry will reveal further insight into his experiences as a royal, particularly following the introduction of Meghan into the fold and the struggles that came about thereafter. Given the Sussex's previous you know, dalliances in the media which saw the couple repeatedly shine a negative light on the monarchy, the royal family have reportedly been in fear of bombshells. During an episode of Paul Murray Live earlier this month, the Daily Mirror's royal editor, Russell Myers, claimed many members of the firm are furious about the tell-all. The king would not be the only person to be absolutely furious looking at a situation that has played over, um, out over the last few years, he said, before pointing out that Harry and Meghan have pretty much got what wanted and yet have just been trashing the royal family. Mr. Myers added that one would have thought that they would have just disappeared into the Californian sunset, being happy to make a bit of money and just forge their, new, their own new life, but no, they didn't. Not only has Meghan been railing against the, her treatment when she was in the royal family for such a brief period of time, we now have Harry's book to look forward to. He concluded saying that, is it sort of score setting? Is, is it a, a purposeful act that he just wants to get back at his family? I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. The world will be watching, that's for sure. However, according to Miss Caulfield, the firm has gotten ahead of the Queen's ill health revelation through a trusted family friend. Speaking of Mr. Brandreth, the commentator said, Everybody seems to get along with him. He quotes the family members directly in the book several times. He quotes the, 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 the Queen at times in very private instances. The biographer has had long contact with the royal family. He has written books about King Charles III 
and Queen Camilla the Duke of Edinburgh and now Queen Elizabeth. In June, Camilla was a guest on the Authors Fortnightly Podcast, Commonwealth Poetry Podcast, which he hosts with his daughter Afra. Miss Coffey described Mr. Brent Wright's relationship with the Royals, saying his book is a unique opportunity for Royal Watchers due to the author's close friendship with members of the family. She said, I asked him about it and he said, oh no, I would never say that they are my friends, but he's been humble. The Queen Consort was on his podcast. She, He worked really closely with Prince Philip on his book about him. This is a man that truly had access to the Queen and truly had access to Prince Philip. Mr. Forfa said, I'm inclined to agree with you that Jill's brand red is very much in the know. I And I think by him saying I had heard she had cancer, he wouldn't write that unless he had been given approval to write that, as you rightly allude to. And also, I don't think he would speculate unless there are some facts behind it. Yeah. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.